What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan with Poise E-Commerce and I'm coming at you today with a very exciting video. I'm pumped about making it uh, because this is going to help you guys out a ton if you're looking to do print on demand. And so the story behind print on demand is it's been around for a long time, but in the last few years it has gotten extremely popular. Everybody with any kind of social media audience wants to start printing their own clothes, designing t-shirts, and selling those online. The problem with this is that when you get a ton of people competing in the same niche, it becomes very hard to get any sort of margin and to stand out among that competition. So if you're looking to do print on demand and get on Merch by Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, any of these more common platforms, it is gonna be very difficult for you to kind of like stand out against all these other brands. Uh, every niche is very crowded, super hard to compete. So the idea here is to find a new market, not even a new market, but a market where less people are selling print on demand and to get your clothing into there. So today we're going to look at Walmart and how you can apply to sell print on demand on Walmart and then use Printful. There's a very helpful app on there that helps you integrate. So essentially, as soon as you make a sale on Walmart, you can easily fulfill those orders through Printful using this very handy app. I'm going to show you guys how to do all that. Let's first get started by hopping into the computer and I'm going to show you guys how to apply to sell on Walmart. All right, let's do it. All right, so we've now hopped into the Walmart Marketplace application, and I'm going to show you guys real quick how to run through this and give yourself the best possible chance to get accepted into the Walmart Marketplace. So you really don't want to mess around here. This goes into a lot of detail. If you've ever applied uh, to sell on Amazon Merch or Etsy, Teespring, they really just want to pull you in. It's not uh, too competitive. They don't do a lot to filter out. Amazon Merch might be the one exception where you know it does take a little bit longer to get in. Uh, Walmart's definitely a lot more difficult and they want to know a lot more about your business So you really got to play the right hand here to give yourself the best possible chance to get in the first page here is just uh, Information about yourself uh, basic info that you can easily fill out uh, They do ask for your legal company name your company website and your annual revenue if you're not doing a lot of annual revenue You should um, really just stop here You want to be doing at least a decent amount because they want to know that you have good experience in this arena And that you're actually going to contribute to the marketplace I definitely recommend having a company website to put down here and something that looks very professional and presentable. So let's move on to the next page here. Okay, we're just going to br briefly run through all of this. Uh, they want to know a little bit more about your company, uh, your U.S. tax ID, where you were incorporated, you were founded, like some real detailed stuff about your company, uh, and then the type of seller that you are. And look, they do definitely... Um, Accommodate to a lot of different types of sellers all the way to drop shippers So you can definitely get in uh, if you're not a traditional retailer and then once again, they ask for your online and offline revenue um, And so you really want to be uh, balanced here have a little bit of both. They're looking for a well-rounded seller uh, But online is definitely the focus because that's where you're gonna be doing uh, just about everything if you're doing print-on-demand Next page here they want to know a little bit uh, about the details of your different products you should have more than one product that's doing well. If you only have one product that you're selling, then you're probably not ready for the Walmart uh, marketplace. You really got to have a wide array of products that have done well to show them that you're well-rounded here. Um, so, you know, you got to um, give them your different SKUs uh, and then what your online revenue is for each of those SKUs. And then um, a little bit more about different brands that you own. So they're really looking for someone that, um, you know, has a lot to offer here. Uh, and if you don't, Qualify if you don't have multiple products or brands or you know stuff that you can really showcase here Then keep working stay on Amazon merch for a while stay on uh, Teespring and Redbubble Work until you have these things ready and prepared because you really only get one shot here um, If you don't if you get rejected on this application Then they will hold your application and let you know if an opportunity comes up But they'll keep it on record so you can't just keep reapplying and changing stuff here <laughs> Next up, they want to know what you've done online, what your experience is. Um, obviously, you shouldn't have gotten this far in the application if you don't have a lot of experience. So, uh, you know, once again, uh, they want to know what your online revenue is, um, how long you've worked in web store retail. Um, so this should be like, I mean, think about like a job application, job resume. This should be like three to five years if you really want to get this job. So you should have a lot of um, experience here. And then if you click on some of the web stores that you've done sales like Amazon for example you'll get a drop down here and I can't do it because I didn't fill out the earlier sections but you will get a drop down and it's going to ask you a lot more detail about your Amazon store like how many sales you have on Amazon what your positivity rating is like the real specifics and so you should be prepared to um, you know kind of provide this type of information as you're filling this out 
And then operations, they really want to know a lot about how you're fulfilling orders and like the back end of your business. Um, so if you've never fulfilled an order here before, uh, it's going to be tough. You should definitely have some experience and it should extend further than just fulfillment by Amazon. You should really have some experience at least shipping uh, UPS and FedEx packages um, because you know if you if you're just entirely drop shipping, uh, it's going to be kind of tough to show them that you're serious with this. Um, and that's basically it. Um, once you've filled out all of this information, you'll hear back in the next few days via email from Walmart, letting them know, uh, letting you know if you've gotten in or not. And so, you know, once you've gotten into Walmart, you can go ahead and head over to Printful here, and then they have uh, this very useful app called ShipStation. And it goes a lot further than just Walmart integration. Walmart is one of the integrations. And so the idea is with ShipStation is that you are integrating to a bunch of different online marketplaces all through Printful. And this is really cool because, um, you know, th to get the best chances of selling more online, you really want to have a lot of exposure via different marketplaces. You, I, As I said before, you can't just be on Redbubble, Teespring, uh, Merch by Amazon. you gotta, you got to be reaching out to, like, different corners of marketplaces that other people won't be in uh, to get the best chance of selling your items. And so ShipStation can help you integrate and do that easily. Uh, it is a paid subscription, but if you're really serious about this and you are selling products, it's definitely something that's worthwhile. And if you get into Amazon, it's if, sorry, if you get into Walmart, it's absolutely worthwhile uh, because you're going to be doing some serious revenue if you can get into Walmart. <laughs> and so um, it's it's really quite simple. You know, you've already got your Printful account, assuming you're doing um, your print on demand through Printful, and then you create an account through um, ShipStation, connect to ShipStation, connect your uh, marketplace to ShipStation. So let's say that's Walmart or eBay. Uh, you can go in integrate through them and then connect that to Printful and you're ready to start fulfilling. As soon as you make a sale on one of those platforms, it easily fulfills. All right, so make sure you're subscribed down below uh, because I'm going to be going into a lot of helpful tutorials like this that show you kind of how to get an edge in e-commerce and print on demand and it's stuff you're not going to find everywhere else. Uh, most of the videos you're going to see are going to tell you how to do stuff in marketplaces that are really oversaturated and really aren't going to get you ahead. So I'm going to give you guys that edge. Make sure you subscribe for that and comment down below if you have any questions.